Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today we're going to be doing um, a pepper steak video that requires a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Now, I um, wanted to explain something before I even got started was that I do have another pepper steak recipe on my video and I will put a link up here. But this one my daughter had, my daughter and I had it at a friend's house and we absolutely loved it. And so I got a, a recipe from her. This recipe is from Masuma Walji um, and it was so good that I really wanted to do another version of this recipe um, and show you guys. So there's very basic ingredients to this, but obviously I'm gonna tell you what I changed up in the recipe. So I have two pounds of beef here that I have cut up extremely thinly. It's just easier to make sure that it gets done pretty quickly. So um, so that's what we're gonna be, use, be using two pounds of, it's just uh, beef um, with no fat and I've cut it and I've marinated it in a tablespoon of ginger and garlic, salt, pepper, and soy sauce. And you know, it's about a tablespoon of soy sauce. So we're gonna need a little bit of olive oil to saute our vegetables and also the meat. And then as far as the vegetables, we're gonna be using, now on her recipe, she says use um, half a green onion sliced thin. Um, I'm gonna be using, uh, cause I li love to eat colorful uh, dishes. So I'm doing half of a red bell pepper, half of a orange bell pepper, and half of a yellow bell pepper, which are sliced really thinly. Um, and then I also am doing eight ounces of button mushrooms that are sliced thinly. So these are, this is a little bit different that I'm doing um, apart from her recipe, but she had told me that if you add onions in there, it tastes amazing. So, I mean, if you add mushrooms in there, it tastes amazing. So I got that idea from her. And then we're gonna be doing about two tablespoons of chopped cilantro or coriander. Salt to taste, I have a little bit of a teaspoon of gin, uh, garlic here that we're going to be using and about a cup of heavy whipping cream that we're going to be using salt and pepper and that's it above so into my pot i'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil and then we're going to add our beef in here so you can see here that i'm what i'm doing is i'm just kind of stir frying it on very very high whatever highest i have here and i just want the pink to go away um, I'm going to stir fry it just until I feel that the, um, the meat is just about done. We're going to then cover it and let it cook for another 5-10 minutes while we go ahead and saute our vegetables. So you can see here that I've stir frying the meat, but because I had cut it so thin, the meat is already cooked. I don't have to cover it because it's just... So I'm just going to transfer this into a clean bowl. I've washed it. Clean bowl. I'm going to... The next step for us to do is to start um, stir frying the vegetables. Now we're going to start stir frying the vegetables. Again, I'm just going to add about a tablespoon or less of olive oil in here and start sauteing all the vegetables. What I've decided to do that I wanna stir fry my uh, mushrooms first, just because um, I like my mushrooms really stir fried really, really well. I don't like them to be like that, have the raw texture to it. So I'm just gonna stir fry it for about two minutes. When we come back, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna start adding all the separate, the other bell peppers in there and then get this dish to, um, the this is what I mean about sauteing the vegetables really the mushrooms really well at this point I'm going to go ahead and add our beef in there so now you can see I'm just adding my beef in there and I'm gonna let this just stir fry just for about 30 seconds before I add the bell peppers in there because I really don't want to overcook the meat. I also wanted to show you that I have here these, um, when we were doing the beef and it was cooking, I uh, reserved the little gravy that I got out of it, and now we're going to be adding this back into it. You don't have to, if you don't have any gravy left, don't worry about it. You could just do the whipping cream. Um, but just because I have the gravy, I'm going to make use of it. See that I got my bell peppers in here. I has just been um, cooking it for about 30 seconds. That's it. 
So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my gravy in here. I'm just going to add my cilantro in there. Give that a little... mix here and lastly we're going to add our heavy cream so you can see here that what i'm doing here is i'm just mixing it just a little bit i want the whipping cream to kind of thicken up a little bit and be like a a little creamy but i don't want to make it too dry either because at this point um, I will be eating it with, um, I prepared a wheat pasta here, and we're going to be having it with the wheat pasta, but um, you can really have it with anything you want to do, brown rice, white rice, quinoa, um, anything that you like, you can be serving that with. So, this is almost done. Okay. So, I'm going to shut it off because I don't want to cook our meat any longer. And at this point, you can go ahead and just add a little bit more um, coriander on it just to, just for garnish. And then we can also add a little bit of pepper on there. And you also want to make sure that you do a taste test because you want to make sure that the taste of the food is absolutely amazing before it goes on the table. So let me show you how I'm going to serve this. What I've done here is what I did is I just added the pasta on the plate. I added the bell peppers on top and you can add um, just some more for a color right there. And then I added a little bit more cilantro on there and that's totally up to you. If you don't like that, and I know there's a lot of people that don't like the taste of cilantro, leave it out. But uh, we don't mind it, so uh, you can do that. And then for the taste test, I'm gonna take the pasta Try and get the pasta. This dish is quick, it's easy, and it tastes amazing. It's just another version of um, pepper steak, but I absolutely love it. So you're gonna have to give it a try. Leave me a comment or two. Tell me what you think. Um, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me today. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.